Good afternoon everybody, Nelka again here and there's another interesting uh, um, question from our subscriber and this is all about the barisol ceiling or stretch ceiling. So this guy, Mr. Deepak Dips, he said how to do stretch ceiling and how do we put lights inside that. Okay, so in the um, Dialux Evo or regular Dialux, you can do that. Unfortunately, you cannot show the diffuse effect in Dialux Evo. Okay, I will show you one of my project and this, um, by the way, let's go and s check what is a barisol ceiling first or stretch ceiling. So these are the pictures of the examples of stretch ceiling or barisol. So it depends on the materials, but usually if it's a barisol, it's a fabric. And you can see the installer here. And most of the time, um, it uses LED strip or LED panel to have a uniform effect on the barisol. But before, um, they used fluorescent. And there's a specific distance for, uh, for these fluorescent lamps to be uniformly lit on this barisol. But if it's LED strip, it's easy. So, okay, so these are the samples of the barisols. So let's go now. This is one of my project and this is a healthcare showroom. And you can see here now that I have lots of LED strip and because um, the clients wants to show that it has a barisol inside. And for example here, so I have down lights and then I have this kind of barisol here. So this is a diffused uh, uh, drop ceiling and I just make it the materials as transparent. So you can ask the barisol manufacturer what is the transmittance value of the barisol. Because it depends on the materials because you need to, uh, to get the correct a light value on your barisol. You need to know what is the transmittance value and reflectance value of this material. And for this one, I just, let's see, check it. So I made a transmittance value of 50% and reflectance factor of 50% because it's a white uh, barisol. It's a white material. It's a fabric material that has 50% uh, transmittance. But if you want to double check what is yours, then ask the architect or the interior designer of the uh, barisol reflectance materials. Or you can ask the barisol supplier itself. Ask them what is the transmittance value. Because sometimes this is so diffused and you will only have 35% transmittance. And if it's 35% only, it will dramatically reduce the lumen output of your LED inside. So, so th this is how I did it. So I just laid all my LED strip. These are my LED strip. And then I um, arranged it according to the shape of the barisol. And then in between of the LED strip is a 10 cm 10 centi spacing for each LED line. And you can see it here also. So you can do that. It depends on the effect of your LED you have to make sure that the LED uh, points or LED lights will not be seen on your barisol. The barisol must be uh, evenly and diffused effect. So it should be like this. I don't know if it's Photoshop, but the LED strip must not be seen inside your barisol. Okay? But unfortunately, in Dialux Evo, you cannot show it like it's so diffused because yeah that's the side effect of dialogues even if you ray traced it you can still see the led strip inside so what i did for one of our project is i photoshopped it so for example this one uh, this is a barisol area so i photoshopped it and make it as a diffused so because dialogues evo cannot um, render a diffuse effect for example this one so i photoshopped it and then make it as diffuse so that's the only solution for now because this is the only solution you can do for a barisol all right so again um let's review how to do a barisol or stretch ceiling lay your led strips 
right now I use Tridonic LED strips if you want to know how to get the IIS file of this LED strips from Tridonic just go and log into www.tridonic.com and you can find all those LED strips you can download the IIS files and then you can play with your ceiling and um, go to your ceiling tab and you can see I have one ceiling here for a gypsum board and one ceiling for a barisol and I made the reflectance and transmittance value of the barisol ceiling to be uh, depends on the types of the materials so you can play with that one for now I used 50% I'm not sure if this is correct because the architect did not give me the uh, reflectance value of the barisol until now and so yeah that's how you do it and then if you achieve the lax value using the parasol or if you do not achieve it because the parasol is so diffuse it's just for general lighting then you can add your um, task lighting like for example the, the down lights or the suspended light or some spotlights so that's it and yeah so that's how you do your parasol ceiling so see you again on the next video. Bye.